Welcome back. New video that CBS 46 obtained last night may shed more light on an incident from March involving a candidate for the U.S. Senate. Body cam video shows Reverend Raphael Warnock's interaction with police after his now ex-wife claimed that he ran over her foot. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is investigating and has reaction from both Warnock and his opponent, Republican Senator Kelly Leffler. This incident happened back in March and now just two weeks out from the election, Reverend Raphael Warnock is receiving criticism from the GOP party. We've got video from the police response plus what investigators found. So I'm like, move, and she won't move, and she's keeping the door open. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Chloe, just stay in the car. And I move and I close the, my car door, get in the car, and I start to move slightly, mm -hmm. thinking she's here. Clear. She yeah, I'm work. thinking she's clear. And I barely move. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden she's screaming that I ran over her foot. I don't believe it. This body cam footage shows Reverend Raphael Warnock speaking with police after a domestic dispute with his now ex-wife and her account as well. He didn't even know. Along, well, um, he knew. He, 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 he talked. He knew. he knew that he ran over your foot. This man's running for the United States Senate, and all he cares about right now is his reputation. At the time, the estranged couple was in the middle of divorce proceedings. We got the incident report from APD. In it, medical examiners determined his wife's foot was okay. Investigators wrote she was hesitant to show her foot at first, but once she did, they too saw no signs that her foot was ran over. I asked his opponent, Senator Kelly Leffler, about the video. Domestic abuse is a serious issue that Georgians deserve answers to as to what exactly happened. Unfortunately, it follows a pattern of what we've seen is that Raphael Warnock has not answered the hard questions in this campaign. I also asked her about the coalition of black pastors who recently criticized Leffler's repeated campaign ads that label Warnock as, quote, radical or socialist. They called the political move a, quote, broader attack against the black church. We have to make sure that Georgians understand who he is in his own words. Warnock himself is also speaking out about the incident. I'm going to stay focused on my family, uh, which includes their mother. And I'm going to stay focused on the people of Georgia, uh, who in the middle of the pandemic are still waiting for relief all of these months later, while politicians, including Kelly Leffler, are busy playing games. It's important to note that Warnock never faced any type of charges in this incident. I also reached out to his church, Ebenezer Baptist, for comment, but did not hear back. In Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yadney, CBS 46 News. African Americans for Kelly Leffler are holding a press conference to rally support for the Republican incumbent senator today, urging Georgians to keep Leffler in office and say her opponent, Raphael Warnock, is too far left. Well, senator Leffler says she knows what it means to live the American dream. That's what this is about, protecting freedom in our country, uh, helping uh, others live the American dream. Uh, I grew up on a farm. I worked in the fields. I waitressed through school. I sold shoes. Uh, I know what it means to build a career that leads to opportunity. I want that for everyone. Um, Leffler says Georgia is the number one state to do business in and ranks number two when it comes to supporting black-owned businesses.